All right, it looks like we have a question about direct labor cost budgets here. All right, so it says Good Eats Incorporated manufactures flatware sets. Budgeted sales are 75,000 units. Beginning inventory is 10,000 units and desired ending inventory is 15,000 units. Each set requires 2.5 hours uh, to polish the material. Um, if polishing labor costs $15 per hour, determine the direct labor cost budget for polishing for the year. Okay, so actually a pretty simple question. You have way, way more room than you would ever need to answer this. So we're gonna start off as always with budgeted sales of 75,000, okay? We're gonna to add to that our desired ending inventory and we're going to subtract out our beginning inventory because we don't have to make that we've already done it and if we do that we're going to end up making 80,000 units for the period so we merely take the 80,000 units we have to multiply it first by the amount of time 2.5 hours and also by the uh, wage rate of $15 per hour. And I think if we, what is it, let's see that, be 200. And so, um, oh, I was right, good. If we do that, we're going to come up with $3 million. Determine the direct labor cost budget for polishing for the year. That polishing is going to cost us three million bucks. Let's look at this one. They want to know what is the budgeted cost of goods manufactured uh, for the year. Okay, well, you know, before we do this, we probably should take a moment and kind of figure out what. Um, what the formula is for cost of goods manufactured. And so we had this in the PowerPoint presentation, but it's strictly direct materials. We're gonna add direct materials. We're gonna add direct labor. We're gonna add factory overhead. We're gonna add beginning work in process. And we're gonna subtract out ending work in process. So cost of goods manufactured equals, and we'll just kind of separate that over here to the side. All right. Okay. So let's grab these pieces. It says direct materials is the first uh, item. So we're just going to take 64,750 direct labor is 198 400 factory overhead is 394 800 work in process inventory on january the first is 189 100 and work in process on december 31 197 600 but we're going to do that as a negative okay so if we take these one two three four positive numbers and subtract out our ending work in process, my total comes to 649,450. That's 649,450. Make it, we can read it a little bit better. All right, let's, we're gonna end the video now. We're gonna do one more question. That's kind of a long one.